last episode we were resurrected and we escaped with Jacob and Miranda and we're gonna go and see the elusive man he is the overseer for why these events have happened so I want to find out some answers Oh, that's right as well in the intro I said that he reminded me of Michael Keaton. I actually got the name wrong. Michael Douglas, he looks like. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. I need some answers, mate. From what I hear, I cost you a fortune. Why'd you do it? For the defense and preservation of humanity. I didn't spend two years and billions of credits bringing you back to serve as a common soldier. But humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? I noticed a few upgrades. I hope you didn't replace anything really important. We tried to keep you as intact as possible. We need Shepard, just as you were when you defeated Sovereign. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Why me? But when, I guess actually why me? It's just because I'm Commander Shepard. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed hmm. one of them. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. Their rebuilding still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. Still, I don't trust Cerberus. Cerberus are never going to do it for good intentions of humanity. Ever. If you're after the Reapers, just point me in the right direction. Miranda was worried you'd be resistant. She's not usually wrong. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. I'll find the evidence. Yeah, I do like Jacob. Jacob does seem like a, a sincere guy. Miranda, we don't know yet. I'll get what you're looking for and be back before you know it. Good to hear it. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Nice, we've leveled up.
three points. Well, I think we'll spend it in that. Boom. And then when we get four points, we'll put it in that and then we'll start spending it on powers. Hey now. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. <laughs> she does sound a bit jealous. What's the matter, Lawson? Worried you're not his favorite anymore? I've proven my value to the elusive man. Let's hope you're able to do the same. See, this is a problem with I think a lot of people. A lot of people try to prove their value to someone. Mate, you've only got to prove your value to yourself. I know what is the problem. Like, if she, we've heard she's so invested in this project, but she's she's really off for some reason. Are you naturally this bitchy, or is it just me? I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. I suppose they, because she expects me to follow Cerberus, and I've got no intentions that I know what they are at the heart. We've taken them down enough times in Mass Effect 1. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. See, I think that's the difference between her and Jacob, as Jacob did serve in the Alliance, so he, he's kind of alright, whereas Miranda knows no better. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. <laughs> Fair enough. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress. It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable, until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. I do respect her for what she's doing. She doesn't give a fuck. Well, she does, but it's not about me. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I didn't join. I just agreed to work with him. I still don't trust him. Do you trust me, Commander? Ooh. Not yet. You're part of Cerberus. I'll be keeping an eye on you, too. Fair enough. I can't expect you to trust me just because I ask you. I'll just have to earn that trust. Respect. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Yeah, tell me about your alliance. Um, service. You said you served in the alliance? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules, but there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. And what made you come to Cerberus? Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council, but nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. Mm -hmm. I see where he's coming from. That's all for now. Yes, sir. Right. So, what are we doing now? Do we have a map? We don't have a map. Ah, oh, so that's the... Ah, oh, so there's a mission complete screen. Ah, oh, that's nice. Got a thousand XP. 
four levels. Grenade launcher. Ah, oh, I like how it gives you a little summary of what you've done. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If Good. the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses. Not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear. And we've got no target to go after. The abductions, isn't it? Do whatever it takes. We're gonna find out who did this and take him down. Nothing gets in our way. Am I clear? Perfectly, Commander. Good to have you here, Shepard. <laughs> oh, nice. It's snowing. First mission in the game, and it's snowing. Brilliant. My favourite type of weather. Well, it's either snow or ash. Looks like snow. Brilliant. Oh, there we go. We've got new weapons. Right. Assault rifle. This is what I'm all about. Have a look about. It's eerily quiet. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Oh look, it's one of them terminals from Mass Effect 1. That's cool. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. Yeah, there's nothing, is there? Salvage parts? Where? You can't actually go anywhere. Oh, enemies. Strange. Oh my god, the gun's terrible. Why does it sound like it's firing not bullets? What have they done to the assault rifle? That one hit. The pistol sapi what the hell? They've completely fucked it. Coming. Nice shooting, son. Oh, what was that? Oh, there's a fucking dog here. Those mechs shouldn't have been hostile. They should have recognized us as human. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on sight. We're not alone here. Getting fucking arse raped by the dog. I didn't even see it. Yeah, what on earth has happened to the assault rifle? It kind of hit a barn door from the inside. Wait there, what we'll do is we'll put that on the assault rifle. Ah, oh, fucking wrong button. You can't switch. You can't quick swat switch weapons anymore. 
Do we have to equip this on everything? We do. We have to equip the ammo on every gun individually. That's fair enough. Right. I think we'll stick with the pistol. The assault rifle seems a bit shit. That's that's a tragedy that what has why have they done that? Oh nice we've got some loot. We're compromised. Where? Get wrecked. Right. Oosh. Two grand. These are like residents. This is like a residential area. Stop right there! Praza, you said you'd let me handle this. Tali! No way! Wait. Shepherd? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepherd? Is that. You're alive? It's all me, baby. Remember when I gave you that Geth data, Tali? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Praza, weapons down. This is definitely Commander Shepard. Why is your old commander working for Cerberus? I don't know. Maybe we should ask. Well, I didn't have a choice, like. I did it to help humanity. I know Cerberus has a bad past, but they're the only group investigating these missing colonies. The Council turned its back on humanity. I have it. Tally, you aren't seriously considering trusting Cerberus? No, I'm trusting Shepard. Exactly. Besides, we could use the help. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. I'll save him. I'll get him. I got this. Everyone else is dead. What makes you think Vitor survived? We saw him when we landed. You saw him? Then why isn't he with you already? Vitor was injured. And he was always, uh, nervous. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Tell you what, I don't want to risk losing Tally. Listen, we'll sort it out. We'll get him. You should head back to your ship, Tally. We'll let you know when we find Vitor. Like hell. I'm not letting Cerberus take over. Neither am I, Praza. There are too many drones out there. You'll need two teams to get past them. And it would be a gesture of goodwill for my people. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. No. Listen, oh my god, I can just see her getting killed. Don't do it. You expect us to do all the dirty work while you sneak in and grab Vitor? Not likely. That's not what I meant. We're better equipped for a frontal assault than they are, Commander. Shepard, I'm trusting you here. I need you to trust me. We're moving out. If you want your answers, get to that warehouse. Okay. I do Sorry, trust Tali. Unexpected variable. They could help us, but I'd hope to keep an eye on them. I don't I think. think I... The same thing about us. I don't think she'll. Um... I don't think she'll betray us. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. Ah! Is that the only way we can go? Where's the map? Why do we not have a map in this game? We've been spotted. Okay. Someone using a shotgun? Wait there. I want... Geth Plasma Shotgun. 
Use the pistol, it's more accurate. Machine pistol. I'll just I'll change weapon. Pistol seems to be quite up, powerful. Oh The mini games in this take a lot longer to complete than the mini games in the Mass Effect one. But at least there's well there's two variations we've seen so far. Use overload on them. Overload coming up. Oh Jacob's got incendiary ammo. Use that. Oh, nice shooting me. Let's get the assault rifle out. It's not too bad when it hits. Shepard, Praza and his squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. See, this is. Find Vitor and take him away before you get here. This is why we should. Exactly, it was. It's not Tally's fault. This is why they should have went back to the ship. Looks like an old mine. Med kit. <coughs> Motherfuckers. Overload that. Yeah, they're really good. The teammates are good in this. Hurry, Shepard. We are inside the loading docks. Vitor reprogrammed the heavy mech. It's tearing Praza's squad apart. They did want to get to Vitor first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Right then, let's take point, baby. Big mech. <laughs> Let's get in some action. Left and right send us. Oh, that's right. Take point, oh, so we can. We'll cover the this is awesome. We can control our squad mates in this individually. I couldn't figure out how to do that in Mass Effect 1. You go sure there. Thing. You go there. You got it. Awesome. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Ready when you are. We're going to get wrecked. Fucking hell, the whole squad got wiped out. That mech this is why you do things my way. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Where is he? Overlord, baby. With my shield gets back up. Nearly dead. But watch this. I need some distance, I need distance. Headshot! Oh, so you got the fucking rockets? Go wrong cover? Get wrecked. It's gonna blow. That's cool. Straight away we're getting like boss creatures that I like it. So where are we going? We're supposed to be going over there, so let's look around. 
yeah, that team did not survive. I'm not surprised. Oh, there's Tali. You all right? This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded shepherd. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. I've seen some refined iridium somewhere. This should come in handy. Heavy weapon ammo, cool. Well, I think that's it. But I think we're good to go. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters, no swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No Vitor, not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming, have to hide. Snap out of it. Hey, I'm talking to you. Great. We come all this way and our only witness is a babbling idiot. <laughs> swarms coming, storm coming. Storm, Why you trigger the performer renegade? Mechs will protect. Also, you get like abilities to do it outside of a conversation now. You're not one of them. You're human. They they didn't find you. Who didn't find us? The the monsters, the swarms. They took everyone. That's what happened. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see, but I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. A collector? What is that? Is that some kind of alien? They're a species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Bloody hell, look, so... So they swarm, there's, there's nothing they can't see. How did you escape? Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Hmm. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. We've got video evidence of them. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. 
The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. Yeah, there's nothing else. What a waste of time, really. We finally find a witness, and he's so off his nut he can't even tell us what he saw. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni-Tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. <laughs> You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. Yeah. Yeah, why don't you join us? You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I want to, but I can't. I've got a mission of my own. It's too important for me to abandon, even for you. When it's over, and I'm still alive, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give Vitor back to Tali. She's a... She's a brother. She, she's our sister. We're not gonna do her like that. And I don't trust... I don't trust Cerberus. Take him. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. I don't know if that look Miranda gave us was dissatisfaction or respect. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. Exactly. Having friends pays off. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. You don't seem too surprised. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrive back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Hmm. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to Collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. I don't know why they're only interested in humans, or is it only what we've seen so far? Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and work groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. Or maybe they found something they wanted and that led, us, let them, led them to humanity. But yeah. You're not telling me everything. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. I agree. I hate waiting, but I'll need a team. A good one. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. 
Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Out of sight who's on my team. I want my old team back. Miranda and Jacob aren't enough? How many do you need to keep me in check? I've made it clear to Miranda and Jacob that you're in charge. You decide who joins your squad. Good. Everyone else on this list was chosen specifically for this mission. They're the best. I'll do the best I can with what you've given me. I'm sure you will. Before you go, two things. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. Is that an order? I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up to you. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. All right. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Fucking Joker, no way. How the hell did they get Joker? Hey, Commander. And he's walking. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life. Let me fly. <laughs> and there's this. They only told me last night. They've rebuilt the Normandy. Yeah, they must have some money. But I want to know, did they fix Joker's legs as well? to give her a name. Okay, so what do we get? Level 5. Got a heavy weapon upgrade. 10,000, nice. And Iridium. The guns out. Big ship. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Good point. Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. 
This is a bad idea. Shut that thing down. I don't want it on my ship. Have I offended? Shepard spent a great deal of time fighting rogue AI. Geth, mostly. Plus that incident with the Alliance's Hannibal system on Luna. Your distrust is logical, Shepard. Unlike the irrational mistrust of most humans. However, I am no threat to you or anyone else. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Good. Now that we've established who's in charge, let's move on to these dossiers. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. I think me and Jacob are going to be bros, that can just tell. Use the galaxy map to pick new destinations, good stuff. Such as the same as Mass Effect 1. Private terminal to get status updates on your squad. Armory, select weapons for you and your squad, that'll be good. I'd like to change my guy's inventory out. Use the elevator to access the Normandy's other decks. Captain's quarters, go to your personal cabin to customise your appearance. In Tech Lab, acquire the Professor to research upgrades from your squad's equipment. Okay, well I think we are going to make that our first port of call. Nice. Right. What's this? Private terminal. Team status. Bloody hell, look at all these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 teammates you can get in this. Normandy's going to be cramped. Upgrades improve your squad members' powers, your weapons and your ship, making mission success more likely. Buy a new upgrades by finding them on missions, purchase them from stores or research using a terminal. Bloody hell. Councillor Anderson, on the off chance that the rumours are true and you actually are alive, I need you to come and talk to me on the Citadel. A lot has changed in the last two years. You put me on the council and it's only fair that you be allowed to speak for yourself about what we've been hearing. Actually, don't worry, I want to go back to the Citadel. I want to see what it looks like. Have they rebuilt it since the attack? Deal struck with Zaid. Masani. We've reached an agreement with the veteran mercenary Zaid. You may know his name. He's been involved in some of the best known and some utterly unknown military operations in the Terminus systems and is feared as a ruthless and relentless bounty hunter. I felt you might need a man with his skills on your mission, so I arranged to have him join you. You'll find him on Omega, where he's wrapping up his current bounty. Don't worry about his fear, I've taken care of that personally. Project Firewalker. The MSV Rosalie. A survey ship with Cerberus connections has gone missing. The survey team was field testing a new prototype, the Hammerhead Planet Side Exploration Rover. In addition, scientists Dr. Manuel, blah blah blah, are conducting research for us. We need to find the ship and the doctors. Normandy crash site. Our scans in the Amara system have turned up something we thought you should see. The final location of the wreckage of the Normandy. There are still 20 crew members, crew members unaccounted for. Okay then. Cerberus Assault Armor. Terminus. Oh, these are all the, the armors that we've already seen on the, the um, equipment screen. Oh, this is just all, all shit. Okay, well that's interesting. Now, I do want to go and see Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Mark is red. How do you read red messages? Right, I don't want to actually click these off in case I lose them, but I will get rid of these. Normandy crash site, where was that? A modder system, right, let's get rid of all these. Oh, they archived. Advanced combat training. Watch service training videos on advanced combat tactics, no thanks. Welcome aboard, Commander. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. 
pleasure's all mine. <laughs> yeah, it, yes, it, as much as I dislike Cerberus, they, they've given me my own personal assistant, what the hell. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Please call me Kelly, sure. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Oh, she's got them green eyes. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Is that all? Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. Keep your distance. Yeah. No, we don't. I like her. She's quite good. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. Yeah, it's good that you're here. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? Yeah, what do you really think of Cerberus? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests. Advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. Do they hate aliens? Sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. <laughs> I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. <laughs> You're very loving. You're naive now. Nah, I think she's alright. That's a very positive attitude. What can I say? I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like to talk about? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. We won't. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. <laughs> I'd embrace you. Oh, can we romance her? Yeah. I would hold you tightly in my guns. I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now that's an enticing thought. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Oh, no, thank you. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Oh, yeah. Just planting the seed. Planting the seed, baby. Right. What about Joker? Rendezvous with Katsumi. Travel to Alkra. Oh, she must have gave us all of this information. Yes, Shepard. What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge where the navigator plots our FTL vectors and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here, thanks. <laughs> I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Bullshit. What do you mean? Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. That's some bullshit, that. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. Miranda. Okay. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. This is bullshit, there's a we need to lift that block. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents <laughs> me from answering that question. Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about you. 
Do you have a specific inquiry? What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Hmm. Like what? Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. See, we're not really in control as much as they say we're in control. We're not. Cerberus is in control. Everything's been. We're just been. We're just being used as a pawn. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close range ship to ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Hmm. That is awesome, really. Sounds incredibly useful. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization, <laughs> putting it out there. <laughs> True. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus' resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Let's discuss something else. Ready. That's it. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Interesting. Big joke. Do you believe this, Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. And leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. It's too good to be true. Don't get too comfortable. I don't trust them. We still need to move ahead, but it's all too convenient. Maybe you're right. I guess it's hard to argue when they install an AI to spy on us. We're staying though, right? I mean, the seat is real leather. Good to see you're keeping it all in perspective, <laughs> Joker. Uh, leather. Leather. Leather seats. I hate leather seats. I prefer cloth because I don't want a sweaty asshole. Well then, let's have a look. We wanted to go and look at the weapon locker, didn't we? Oh, look, she's changed her name. Because we chose that, she's now called Kelly. What's this area of the ship? This is the Combat Information Center. Here, the crew receives sensor data and coordinates gunnery and damage control efforts. Oh, fantastic. Well, that's a lift. I don't want to go there. During combat, the commanding officer is... That's all for now. Logging There's around. the weapon locker, baby. Let me have a look. What have we got? Assault rifle. That M8 dog shit. Collector assault rifle. Got no interest in using something that looks like that. Heavy rifle. Medium range. Semi automatic. I always prefer semi automatic we weapons in games. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. The FAL. Unbelievable. That was my weapon of choice. Upgrade the Avenger. Also, it's an upgrade over the M8. Good stuff. I'll have that. Shotgun. That's the classic one that we've got. Eviscerator. I don't like it how they don't have stats. You can't like see like if one's got better accuracy than the other or, or not. Jacob was using that. Tight grouping helps wound ballistics at longer ranges. Go on, I'll pick it because it looks cool. Sniper rifles. The Mantis is good. The Incisor is one of the new wave of military and police sniper rifles designed to overload active defences as shields. Three shots with each. I don't like it. I don't like burst fire guns. Heavy pistol. 
Phalanx. Effective against armor, weak against shields and biotic barriers. Effective against armor, weak against shields, they're both the same. Uh, used on armored or shielded targets with no loss of stopping power in comparison to the soldier's assault rifle. Try that out. Grenade launcher. Singularity gun. Awesome. Black hole gun. Arc projector. Ionizes targets with a non-visible laser ready to ready them for a high voltage electrical attack. We'll try that. At no point in having a singularity we could just use biotics, couldn't we? We'll go with that. What we do our teammates as well. Right, Jacob, what are you? I'll leave you with that because you were using it anyway. And he's using the heavy pistol anyway. Miranda, what do you use? Machine pistol. And a... Heavy pistol. Okay, so they, they can't use any other weapons. Can't use snipers or anything. Fair enough. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. Just remember that bringing you wasn't my choice, so you need to prove yourself. You're here because you're Cerberus. Don't expect special treatment. Understood. But not everyone in the group is hardline. I'm an employee because I believe in their current direction. Doesn't mean I don't have concerns about their past actions. Or some of yours. You watch me, I'll watch you. That suits you? I am glad to have you aboard, though. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. Glad to have you aboard. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. I think this guy is loyal. Like, I know he's... I agree with what he said. He's just worked. This is another job for him. He agrees where their their direction is currently going. It's like all politics. You don't always agree with everybody's politics, even the the, the team you like. What's that? Edie again. What this but area? You pick shoes? the one that's right for now. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepherd. Tech Labs. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. Well, I'm not even going to pretend to understand that, but yeah, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I understand there's like science on quantum physics, and I wasn't interested in that in the past, but I didn't really fully understand it. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point to point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one linked to each world. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. And we are banned the from the text labs. Use the yeah. Laboratory. All right, well, why don't we go and see what's in the lift? What we'll do is, I think we'll, we'll ex fully explore the Normandy now, and then next episode we'll go on a, a brand new quest. It'll be exciting. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Really? Kestrel armor? 
Are armor technicians have a lively debate about the Kestrel armor system. The suit is supposed to be effective on its own merits, but the technicians felt its shield algorithms were best exploited piecemeal in custom arrangements by combining it with other armors. I've shipped a Kestrel suit to the Normandy. Modular programming so you can mix and match parts as you wish. Oh, so is that like... Actually, I don't know where the weapons look. The armor? Oh, it was in my personal chambers, wasn't it? Where the fuck's that? Captain's cabin. What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. It's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel, not an Alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this hmm. space is directly under the exterior pressure hall. The fitting yard workers called it the loft. Oh, the Kestrel stuff is the stuff that I'm currently wearing. I've already seen that I've got it available. Okay, that makes no difference. But look at this though. Look, we've got a picture of Ashley. That is hilarious. Achievements. View all advanced combat training videos. <laughs> no. Evolve any power. Personalize your armor. Oh, these are pretty cool. 100% of the planets. Disrupt the shields of 25 enemies. We'll just get these as we play the game. 30 headshot kills. And this is just a regular... Okay. Music, I don't care. Right, that's that. Nothing here at the minute. So I imagine we're going to get better pieces of armour the further we go into the game. Cruise quarters. The hell, this Normandy is much bigger than the old. I want to have a shower. Shepherd, the men's restroom is on the port side of the ship. <laughs> nah, I want to be in the ladies. The starboard observation deck is closed until needed. Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, that is lives in New the King. bloody warp drive uh, that from. Event Horizon. It can only be a bad exactly. thing. If you haven't seen Event Horizon, watch it. It's 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 amazing and hideous. You happy with this, Edie? Chef surprise again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, Princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. <laughs> Real nice. Who's this guy? This guy looks like the guy that we just, we that Miranda killed. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? You need anything? You have everything you need. I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. Give us the list. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I'm okay. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Let's go and see Miranda. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like Mate, to know? Are you is is this is this bitch seriously just trying to talk me out of believing that service is evil? She's like, 
Don't believe what people say. Cerberus aren't as evil as, as everyone makes them out to be. Mate, I've seen it firsthand what they've done to fucking colonies on planets. They've ruined them with their research. What the hell? I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus' long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the Special Tasks Group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. But that's what I'm asking. Who are you privately funded by? Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your... accident were mostly part of our military division. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. So that's how they're going to explain it. The people we've encountered before, the military. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. Yeah, why would you say that? How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions, even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. I want to know more about you, girl. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Really? Not my decision, but I make the most of it. Well, it's tell. one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. <laughs> I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. I fucking bet. She's like, oh yeah, that's why the elusive man picked me because of my genetic modifications. It's because of damn titties. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. You're perfect. She does look pretty perfect. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. I I is she cocky? I don't know if she is. I wouldn't... S I wouldn't say she was. But well, let's test her on it. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. You know what she sounds like? She sounds like the perfect assassin. Because of her looks, it's going to catch everyone off guard. Facts. That's why she was put here, I bet. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Miranda. Whatever you want. Do you, do you know what it is? It's working. <laughs> It's working. Whoever, whoever put her in here to fucking control me or sabotage me, it's actually working. What's this? Right, I think we've only got one more floor to... Oh no, we've got the, the medical... This is where Dr. Chakwas was on the original Normandy. Dr. Chakwas? No way. Commander Shepard, I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Yeah, it's great to see you. Nice to see a familiar face, Doctor. I feel the same. I wish more of the original crew could be here. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. 
But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I've kinda got a little bit of a thing for Dr. Chakwas. It's a shame we couldn't do anything in Mass Effect 1 board. Hey, there's always time. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll get you another one, pet. Don't you worry about that. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. Yeah, why have you left the Alliance? Isn't it weird? It, it, it almost feels like Cerberus and like... It's just handpicking everything from my history to make me feel comfortable. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. Good answer. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. I don't know if we're going to get another opportunity to see this, but it flashed up for one second where the camera was like just zoomed out a bit and we could see Dr. Chakwas. She just sat there with her fanny out watch. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Oh, you didn't get to see it. She was just sat there with her legs open, just like clamming for the ship. I don't blame her, to be honest. To the AI core is restricted. Right, I think... Oh no, we've got one more floor to go on, and then we'll call it an episode. But I just want to get all of this done now, so we, we can go and get some... Get into some action. But then again, I do want to go to the Citadel. There's probably going to be side quests there. We'll go and see... Mr. Anderson. First thing next episode, I think that's what we'll do. What's this area of the ship? That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Oh, this is where Tali was. Yeah, the core. And hell, it's huge. This doesn't even look as if it should fit inside the Normandy. Donnelly. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. Ship up. I didn't hear an officer on deck. I run this ship military. Do you two think this is all a joke? Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. What happened again, <laughs> sir? At ease. Who are you? I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? You need anything? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. Kenneth, you're complaining. Yeah, so what's the issue? What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there is an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. T6 FBE. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Okay, I'll look at them for you. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's <laughs> enough for me. 
<laughs> yes, we are. We're going to kick them right in the daddy bags. Fucking right, we How are. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. Fair enough, I respect that. So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. Carrier. Well do, Commander. Okay, so we've got a quite a few side quests. Oh my god, there's more to this ship. Does this ship ever end? A note here? There is nothing. I'm lost in my own ship. That's it. Right then, back on deck. Okay, so what I think we'll do is I think we'll call it an episode here. Let's stick a save on the go. When we... Oh, wait there, what's this? Oh, we've got two squad points. So maybe if we get another two level ups, then we can afford that. And then we'll concentrate on other things. But yeah, um, if I can, I'm going to go to the Citadel to see... Captain... Anderson to find out like to catch up with him find out what's really been going on and then we'll continue to I forgot the, the name of the place we've actually just found it off of them people downstairs that said that's where we can get the coupling it's where the other missions are I think and we'll do that next episode hope you enjoyed it see you in the next one